So, fun little story, I actually, so the only Final Fantasy game I've played all the way through is Final Fantasy 1, and I did it with a party of all red mages, oh my God. and all of them had names that started with the letter J. <laughs> so, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, not having access to the highest level spells will do that. <laughs> it makes things a little interesting, admittedly. Oh. What is about? Go lie down. Your dogs are cute. Frisky is all heck, but they're cute. Your annoyances. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, they've been really depressed lately because we've not been letting them sleep in the rooms with us. Mm -hmm. I found they don't call the pissed on my bed again. Yeah. So I've been keep, like, not letting them up on my bed. So they've been getting locked out of the rooms at night. So mm -hmm. they've been sleeping up on the couch. I told DJ about that. She was like, yeah, they're depressed. Like, well, if I'm not careful, they're going to piss on the couch, too. <laughs> That'll do it. Oh, uh, you got your phone off. I do. Ooh, let, me, let me get mine out. Supposedly it's got two hours. Let me turn it. Hey, there we go. Turn the brightness up just a, just a touch. All right. See what, see how well that shows up. Should be all right. <laughs> Hello. Why you're... What? <laughs> One land. Wrong land. Hey, that's where we want to start. Okay. While I'm taking a mulligan here... Hey, you got it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Still... Yeah, that would not have worked. So I'll take six and a half. See how that treats me. Or maybe seven if you drop it too. Let's see. I think I can keep this. Alright. Six and a half it is. Yeah, this is a three color deck, and when you get one land, you don't want it to be that land. Ah. Yeah. All right. Take two. See how we do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, I, I think it's better than going to five, so I'll keep getting my scry on. Mm -hmm. Um, probably not. Let's uh, drop that one down. Yep. Well, you're up. Swamp. Hey. Inquisition. Beep. Okay. Mana Leak, Cold Eyed Selkie, Bop. Spell Pierce, Cephalid Constable, Windswept Keith. Mm. So all all legal for Inqua except you. Mm. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that these are the two you have to read. Probably. Cold Eyed Selky Island Walk, which does a lot here. And then whenever it deals combat damage, I draw that many cards. And uh Constable, no island walk, but it bounces permanence. Again, equal to its power. Uh, take the... Take the bird. Alright, yeah, that's the... that's definitely the play. I would say. And here we go. Alright. Come on, top decks. Here we go. Pulses. It's a distortion strike. What does that do? Plus one, plus O, unblockable rebound. Take spell pierce. Yep. Go ahead. All right, draw. Go ahead. This is going to be a fun game. Fetch. Yep. Roll you down to 17. 
All right, I'm really playing around Blood Moon here. And I guess that's fair. <clears throat> yeah, my voice does, if it sounds a little uh, that's because it is. Whatever you say, of course. Winger. Not much I can do about it. Alright. So that'll be turn? Yes. Pass turn. Haunter. And. Gaslight. Yes, yes, I don't have one. Aww. <laughs> Gang. Aww. Okay, that works. I don't think RK has made those yet. Maybe not. Now remind me, what is this one a reference to? I have no idea. It looks like Skeleton King from Diablo 3. But he can't fly. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you might as well. Yeah. Oh, Ritz off. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go to four. Let's see. I'll uh, drop this one, the cold-eyed selkie. Uh -huh. uh, in for two. Um. <sighs> this this sucks. <laughs> this sucks. All right, I'll take it. Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead. Pass turn. Ooh. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted? Um, let's go to five. Cold eyed sulky. Um, <laughs> Arena. This is this is beyond. I'm just gonna scoop it okay. here. This is wow. <laughs> okay, just let's do a price check here. Not you. Next one. And then, well, oh, whatever. Okay, so. Not enough turns in? No, no, no. The reason I wasn't fetching is it gave me one more land to potentially hit. Mm -hmm. And so, if, if modern, as all formats, is a format of margins, I was trying to give myself the best margin I had. But, oh well. This time, hopefully, without mulligans. <laughs> no mulligans for me, at least. No. Ideally, none from you either, so I can show off the deck at its. At its potential. Point. I see you over there, Conrad. I see you, doggy. Oh, look at you. You look at you. Get a belly rub. As long as you don't knock the tripod over. Okay. Yeah, here we go. So I will be on the play. Mm -hmm. You know, as you do. Alright, keepable hand. Let's have some lands. Keepable hand. I will keep. I'll keep. Here we go. We're going to start off with Flooded Strand. Mm -hmm. Hooray, go. Can you courtyard? Go ahead. All right, we're going to fetch it into turn. Go to 19, get a breeding pool, and then I'll go to my turn. Breeding pool tapped, of course. Yeah, no end of turn opt, even though that is now a thing in modern. I would like to cast a Kasali Pride Mage. Sure. Pass turn. So I'm seeing a card I would have sideboarded out had I sideboarded, but it's there nonetheless. Just going to go ahead and push that. Yep. It's dead, yeah. Jim. How's about we play a Temple Garden tapped mm -hmm. and pass the turn? There we go. Shock. Ooh, here comes a play. 
Fair enough. Um, we'll pierce that. Sure. Right. Uh, you have to pay two. Oh, no, I'm creature. Oh, creature. Yeah. Oh, pierce storm. Yeah. Yeah. It's not dispel or fluster storm or anything like that. Oh my god, you drink so loudly, dude. <laughs> what is the deal? <laughs> listen to that. Just listen to him go. I'm going to pass the turn. Here we go. Um, sure. Go ahead. In a turn, we're gonna vapor snag one of them. That's a card that would definitely would not be in there, but is now. <laughs> so cards I would have sideboarded out. Um, still in a turn. Hmm. Do I want to cycle canopy here or not? Might be a good idea. I think we are. I'm gonna cycle and draw. Mm -hmm. Use my mana efficiently. Play land. Go figure, that's how it works. That is how it works. And then we're going to pass the turn. Okay, Tech Edge is cool. Turn mm. Tech Edge and get rid of your blue. Flood blue? Mm hmm. Got a combat? Yep. Info one. Take one. Second man? Yep. How much I can do? When you only have one blue source. Uh, she's going to go for it. Okay. Um, yeah. And like, so I had the counter spell. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, you played that correctly, man. Not much I can do, except force you to use a lily uh, medium here. Pass turn. It's cold eye okay, selfie. Cool. Yeah, this is the. Uh, I'll draw cards if it connects. Yeah, we're gonna force you to discard. Oh, force me to discard. Or not yeah, discard. Yeah, okay. There we go. Neg two. That makes more sense. Um, you had me going. Hold on a minute. Land. Okay. Mm. Bitter blossom. Bitter blossom's good. Um, and four. All right, seventeen all. This is totally an even game now. Yeah, let's go ahead and flashback. Alright. Might as well. In your go. I said cold eyed Selkie, and then I'll pass the turn. He's in the spirit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somewhere in there. Let Haunter lead the charge. Uh, okay. Yep. Let's roll you down to 17. We have a fairy. Uh. It's just hexproof. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no hexproof. I'll walk. So it's not hexproof. If you want to push it, just um, turn on revolt, man, or path me, or whatever. Um, go to three on Lilyon. Good old distortion strike down. And for three? Take three. Um, pass turn, stop on the keep. Okay. Uh, pass. It's gone, baby, gone. Obviously, I'm gonna get an island. Yep. That's <laughs> that's not a surprise. 
Hey, you two get away from each other. Hey, there we go. That is indeed the play. Do it on upkeep. Alright. Hey, there we go. So I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, am I going to have to do this? I'm going to have to do this. Doesn't get any better from here. Fetch. Mm -hmm. Draft. Guys to sink trapped. Mm -hmm. And then pass turn. Put you to 15 as you get another fairy. All the fairies. All the fairies. Oops. Geist. Bye, Geist. Over four. All right. Go ahead. Get all my basics out. Game three. Wait, three. If the, if you don't mind. Oh. <laughs> In any case, that conversation aside, we are back on camera. Sideboarded at last. I guess this is supposed to be a uh, Worlds format, where the first two games aren't sideboarded, and then the next three, up to three, are. But, uh, I really want to see my deck do its thing. It's supposed to... <laughs> it's supposed to work, but it's losing the Thoughtseize pretty hard. <laughs> Admittedly, game one being Landscreen is a thing. I didn't even to do that game. Oh, you didn't. Mm -hmm. Wait, you didn't thought she's Oregon quote me? Mm -hmm. Oh. There's Lily attacks. Oh, yeah. Lily is a is a card. That's what I hear. <coughs> there we go. Alright. Yeah, I hear Thoughtsy is a, is a good magic card. I know most people, it seems, don't like to see it in standard. Personally, I like how skill intensive the card is. <coughs> oh my god. I'll take the play. Or. Oh, it's easy. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I really don't think I should keep this one. It's a one lander, and it's a little awkward. So one of the things that I could do to perhaps improve the deck is to take out some of the interaction pieces and add in serum visions. Um, serum visions would make these one landers a little bit more keepable. But, on the other hand, Serum Visions probably wouldn't be any of the other cards in this hand, so it might not make a difference here. I think with this high of a curve, I'm going to drop it. And I'm going to see what my next card would have been. It was a land. It was a land. It was a land. It was a land. <laughs> what the f*** is going on? Okay, so the deck uh, wanted to mess with me for a second. On the play, though, I don't think it's right to keep there. It's a one-lander, and admittedly, if I had had to shuffle, that would not have been on top, but you never know. All right. Yeah, so cantrips would be a good way to improve the deck, but I have to take out interaction pieces. Ahem, Conrad. Ahem. Oh, dear. Your dog's cute, but, you know, that's always fun. All right, man. Let's try this again. See what six and a half. Oh, also, it doesn't hurt that I didn't. Doesn't help that I didn't see any sideboard cards in that hand. So we'll see how we do this time. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, I, I better keep. I don't think I can go further than this. All right. That's a uh, that's a card. No, sorry, buddy. You're getting scryed to the bottom. All right. So for my first trick, windswept teeth, pass turn. No stifles in this format. Shock. Okay. 
Do you I... I think I want to trade this Spell Pierce for your Inkwell. Mm -hmm. I think that's a trade I'm willing to take. That's turn. Mm -hmm. Pass turn. <clears throat> Bleh. Bleh. It's fine for me to run out the cold eyed selkie here and then pass turn. Sure. Okay. Show me Lily. I'm assuming you're dead. One. Yeah. Yep. Just every time. That's what happens when you have four lilies in your deck. That is indeed what happens. Can confirm. Go ahead. Which is why I'm going to take one here. Cold eyed Selkie. Mm -hmm. Last turn. Do that again. I dare you, mother. I dare you. Marsh Flats, he can turn on Revolt for push. He can obviously path me at any point. Dispel. Mm -hmm. mm. Pass turn, stop on upkeep. God! <laughs> path. That's what I was figuring. If I dropped the Dispel, you had the path of the push. But the other card in my hand is the reason why I did that. Alright, let's get our island. You're not making it easy, bro. It's your job. So, unfortunately, there's an idiot. There's a bit about the wording on Cold Eyed Selkie where I have to deal damage to a player to draw cards. And so, if I just hit the Lily for one each turn, I'm not going to draw anything, but you're going to keep hitting me with that. Mm. And so, I, I might as well say, because it doesn't matter now, the other's a Distortion Strike. Distortion Strike would have let me kill the Lily on that turn. Mm. So, that's why I dropped the Dispel instead. Let us. Cycle Canopy, yep. cast a Noble Hierarch, mm -hmm. and then pass turn. Uh, yeah, deep. Okay. So if I had just used the Cold Eyed Selkie to try to take out Lily, I would have never been able to do it because I'll take down one, you'll go up one, I'll take down one, you'll go up one. Mm -hmm. I need some pump like Exalted or Distortion Strike to get me out of it. So I mm -hmm. 
I bet it as if you didn't, but lo and behold. Yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. I guess it's one of those situations where you kind of have to play as if they don't have it. Mm -hmm. Like uh, when you're playing Char Belcher and Legacy and you have to go for it and you just hope they don't have Force of Will. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Show off your shinies. You caught a shiny on the shrine. Go through. Um. Hmm. We're sort of stuck with the same conundrum here, where Distortion Strike, this time it won't actually save me from the Lily. But I think we're going to drop the Mana Leak. Bitter Blossom, okay. Hey buddy, I'm seeing a Planeswalker. Well, it really doesn't help at all. You just want to go to 8? Yep. Forcing creatures to attack me. Yep. Good for you. Uh, go ahead. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Distortion strike? Mm -hmm. Getting him for two? Yep. So, wait, what does distortion strike give it? Plus one, plus so, unblockable rebound. So, it's actually three. She's um, exalted, isn't she? But she's a zero one. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. She doesn't ever feel like so, it, but she is. I am 0 for 2 on my guessing what Liliana is hiding uh, <laughs> bits past turn. Actually, you know what? This is game. I'm hellbent. You have two planeswalkers on the board. Man, oh man. And an Elspeth <laughs> the next turn, potentially. Good god, man. And then the draw. Yeah, another just to try. Um. I should have taken the more conservative route, but had I done so, I still would have been would not have been able to deal with Lily. Mm -hmm. So each turn it was again just kind of assuming you don't have it. Oh well. Here you go. Boink. I'm gonna try this again. I am relentless. I, I wanna get one game where it does what it's supposed to do. Because it looks like some tempo-y mid-range deck. It is actually a prison deck, you just haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Not yet. We'll get there. Oh, looking at the... No, Eugene over there. Oh, yeah, fair enough. And now I'm enough of a magic player that when I hear Eugene, I often think Ugin. Yeah. Alright. Boink. Keep, finally. <laughs> At last, we might do something. Maybe. The dream. Okay. Okay, so I'm... Are we rolling or... Uh, just, just keeping the same. Okay. Alright, so I will go shock. Mm -hmm. Put myself to, hello, 18 for a noble hierarch and pass the turn. Alright. Show me a push. Well, go ahead. <laughs> it's a thing. You do what you gotta do. I will put in a Temple Garden tap to pass the turn. Swamp. Falsies. Which one do you want to take? Which counterspell do you want to take? Ooh. Two spell pierce, a dispel, and a distortion strike. Uh, take a sp spell pierce. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Alright, and that's maybe turn? Hit me with a double counter spell? Counter spell? Or oh, hit me with the, you. <laughs> hit me with the, the double take a counter spell, I mean to say. <laughs> um, yeah, falsies. Alright. Take the spell. Okay. Go ahead.
I'm going to walk right into it. Well, there's an island in here somewhere. Okay, there we go. Geist. Since I know you can't remove it through normal means, it's gonna have to be Liliana. Watch him have Watch one him. of his Lilianas. Yep, he's smiling at me. Who are you talking about? Oh my goodness. <laughs> just, just do it. Just show me the Liliana, for Christ's sake. God! <laughs> I did, as you can see, I didn't have another land in hand, otherwise I would have played more conservatively. Plus mm -hmm. it dodges Path to Exile and Fatal Push, so it seemed like the right play. You only had three Lilianas, I didn't think the odds were very high that you would have one in your hand. But, you know, I've been great at guessing every single time. Alright. God bless America. Okay. I don't know why I just kept my own deck. I'm gonna play a cold eyed Selkie and pass the turn. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. Mm. Yeah. Go to discard. Discard spell pierce. Yeah. Okay. I guess normally I'm supposed to like hide them and then do it that way. So you don't know which one I'm using, I'm getting rid of. Since I already explained to you the logic earlier behind dropping the counter spell instead of the distortion strike, you know where I'm coming from. There's Blossom. Airflow. My goodness. This is just relentless. Uh, pass turn Stop, stop on upkeep. upkeep. My Go goodness. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's right. doing something right. You are <laughs> indeed doing something right. Getting a plane, so we have each color represented twice. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Green, blue, white. It's about to say yellow. Yellow? Mellow yellow. How many cards do you have in hand? One. Alright. We're gonna keep playing. Pass turn. Shock. Okay. I was at 15, wasn't I? I'm actually not sure. Oh, well, I'll just go with it. Sure. Yeah, I, that that would explain why you wouldn't do the plus there. That makes sense. Go to three. Now, another thing that this deck could use is Dryad Arbor. I think it could use a Dryad Arbor to fetch to do things like take out a Liliana. Yeah, i go. Go ahead. This is not looking good for T1. Still not looking good. Go ahead. You know, I'm supposed to hold that back so it looks like a counter spell for the third freaking time. Yep. I, <laughs> that's good against counter spells anyway. Alright. Plus to plus. Yep, plus to five. Mm -hmm. Alright. Although. That one's not going to do me much good for getting Dryad Arbor anyway. No. Pass turn. I'm gonna scoop for it. Oh my goodness, deck one time. 
one time, I know it's not a great match, but one time could you please, <laughs> please. So our, my last chance for the deck to actually do what it's supposed to do. We're gonna go game five for that 20% win rate. Mm. Or the zero. 20 or zero. Here goes nothing. All right, we're gonna try it. Seven, keepable seven, maybe. It's a 22 land deck, I think. All right, keepable seven. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. Sure. Okay, stuff is happening now. Temple Garden, bop. Okay. Pass turn. Courtyard. Thoughtseize. Okay. This is not the worst hand for Thoughtseize. This is a double Kasali Pride Mage, Spell Pierce Mana Leak, Misty Rainforest. Now, you're not seeing what the deck's supposed to do technically, but this is a fine hand, I'd say. It is, I would say, a right answer. Oh, well, I, I don't know the contents of your hand, but in Autarky, there is a right answer. And its name is John Cena. Da, 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 da. I spell yours. Yep, that is the right answer. Go ahead. Alright. Because now, I can't play the Kasali Pride Mage and hold up a counterspell. Which I think I want to do against a deck I know has Bitter Blossom in it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to play a little defensively here and pass the turn. Now if he thought he's me again, the, the jig is up. Oh, <laughs> it's a breeding pool. So probably, I'm going to guess, unless you're, well if it's Bitter Blossom, because all Pride Mage is effectively a counterspell. So we take the Mana Leak. Liliana, the gates are open for you. So I get punished for playing slowly there. But finally... Shock. Okay. Push the bird. Float. Doesn't really matter. You see my hand. Purple. Go ahead. We're actually going to fetch here. In the turn, fetch. Get out a breeding pool. What on earth? Look at my life counter, dude. <laughs> what is going on? I win! <laughs> <laughs> we have some ad nauseum shenanigans that are actually happening. Um, yeah, it's shock from Temple Garden and then fetch, so I'm at 17. Ooh. My goodness. And just to be clear, yours has been double Thoughtseize, mm -hmm. so you should be at 16. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so now on to my turn. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it's that important, but in this match my life title kinda doesn't matter. It's rare that it seems like it would matter. I'm not at Kroger anymore. <laughs> but we are gonna hold it up. And pass the turn. Going on the mono cat plan, cat wizard. It's a cat wizard. How cool is, it's a cat wizard and it's green white. Pass turn, stop one. Up to you. Alright. Push. I don't have another uh, in my hand. I think it's fine. Alright. Shore up all my colors. Then I'll move to draw. I think that's fine. What, I have another Pride Mage in hand, so... It's, it's okay to let that one go. There's not an impending threat where I need to 
you know, go ahead right then. Sully Pride Mage. Do your thing. Pass turn. By do your thing, I mean wreck bitter blossom, maybe. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Cephalid Constable, which is whatever it deals combat damage to a player, return up to X target permanents that player controls to their owner's hands, where X is that is the damage. So if it deals you two damage, you bounce two permanents, etc. Mm -hmm. I love that sound. All right, but in all seriousness, we're now going to pass the turn. It's so a one one for three mana. It better have a good ability. You have not played your land yet? Mm -mm. Counter it, he plays a land, flashes it back, and that's going to feel real good. Um, results? Haunter and the Skeleton King. I wanted to. Haunter's so cool, I wanted to just give him a die to say, hey, there are two of you now. It's good. Three skeleton kings. As Richard Garfield intended. Okay. Let's see. Yet another breeding pool comes in tap. And if you weren't tapped out, that might not be such a good thing, because it means I'm definitely not holding up blue mana, and you could cast an instant to kill one of my dudes. But, it's not it. What? Okay. This is a thing. I guess. I like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. Swing three. Exalts itself. Mm -hmm. Alright. Thank you for not choosing Haunter. I appreciate that. Gonna play a bop. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. That's unfortunate. She resolves. 
There is a correct answer here, and it's pretty dang obvious, unfortunately. Cool. Yeah, constable's gone. Mm. Yeah. Take out one of the reading pools. Flip blue? Yep. This is a game. This is a game. Prime Mage. Mm -hmm. Main phase because I'd like some Exalted. I mean, whatever I do, you're just going to block. It doesn't really matter with whom I attack. We are going to swing at Lily. Obvious block is obvious. And I'll pass the turn. Float blue? Mm -hmm. Uh, move to attack phase. Yes. Anyway. There was a time when that wasn't actually something you could do. <laughs> <laughs> Where move to attack phase meant you're moving to declare attackers and it's too late to animate stuff. But I think they've changed the rules now that you can do that. So yeah, you're in. Three total. Unfortunate. Come on, boy. Yeah, I'll take three, you gain two. Last turn. A little late. I would say better late than never, but... Nubs? Mm -hmm. Nubs? I mean, obvious block is obvious. Probably actually would have been better to swing with both, even if it's just for two, so that I could put Lily on a three. Probably, actually, that was the better play. Well, live and learn, I guess. Pass turn. End of turn. Because now I'm at a point where enough removal spells and I won't be able to stop Liliana. There you go. Gee, I wonder, yeah. <laughs> Poor thing. Rip. Mm. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more it seems right that I should have swung with both. Past turn. Because now I can't swing with both profitably. Because now if I swing with both, one of them will just die to a godless shrine, the other will eat a token, 
A goddess shrine. Not a goddess shrine, <laughs> a shambling dance. Makes the same colors, you know what I mean. Pass turn. Kill the noble. Yep, all bets are off. So basically, I have to swing with both Pride Mages if he animates the Shambling Vent and blocks with it and still has enough mana for a removal spell, I might be in trouble. Because then he could save Liliana on both sides. And since Caselli Pride Mage is only 2 mana, push is online. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, sorry. I'll remember. Mm. Go ahead. Alright. Here goes nothing. Both at Lily. Mm. Alright. Obvious animate is obvious. Uh, kill one, she takes two. Okay. And you'll gain two. Mm -hmm. She's two. I will Five. also play a cold eyed sulky. Pass turn. You're not going to have any of this, bro? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So should I have the rest? If you want me. I've just been sitting on that. Hmm. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Plus, just... plus three to plus three. Yep. Fair yeah. enough. Blip blip. And for two. Wow, you had a you had the mana, indeed. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wait a minute. You're gonna go up to seven on this next turn. I'm gonna play something. It's not gonna be enough. You got it. Yeah, you got it. So I'm 0 for 5. So here's how the deck's supposed to work, <laughs> in case it weren't obvious enough. Cephalid Constable is the all-star. The actual factual all-star, and if this ever hits, it's usually game on the first hit. Not because it's dealing one damage and bouncing one permanent, but because it's dealing more than one damage and bouncing more than one permanent through Exalted, such as Noble Hierarch and Kasali Pride Mage, and also through... Now I can't find you. Distortion Strike. And so the idea is that you play at turn one, Noble or Bop, and there are four of each in the deck, so that's reasonably likely to happen. And then you play a turn two, Constable, and then you swing and win. That's the idea. The problem, <laughs> as if there's only one problem, the main problem is that it's a really fragile way to play. It's like Infect, but instead of winning on the second turn or third turn, you just keep your opponent from ever winning on the second or third turn, or third turn in this. Um, without having some free counter magic like uh, Disrupting Shoal, there's not really much this deck can do to protect Constable. Which is why cards like Geist of St. Traft are in here, but Liliana doesn't care about Geist of St. Traft. Uh, there's Daxos of Miletus, Melitus. There are Cold Eyed Selkies. And so, one way I could build this is just to build on the number of uh, creatures in the three, the three drop slot to sort of overtax your removal. Um, I could play Hexproof cards in that slot, but like a Troll Ascetic, but that's not doing anything, it's just keeping you from doing something. Whereas Cobalt Selkie, if it hits, draws me one, two, three, four cards. Cephalid Constable keeps your opponent from getting past turn one. So I'm trying to figure out what the best way to build the deck is, and I don't think I've figured it out yet. At least, maybe, now this match is also really, really bad, but at the same time, I still think I could have done something better to fix it.
So that's the idea. That's what the deck is trying to do. And so Kasali Pride Mage is exalted for you and its main board artifact enchantment hate. Stuff like that. You know, just usual modern magic stuff. 